apply to husbands and wives and family life. So these words are in fact for you as God's chosen. Since it is your intention to marry, join your hands together. And with your promises, bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. John, repeat after me. I, John, take you, Mary Dudley, to be my wife. I, John, take you, Mary Dudley, to be my wife. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Mary Dudley, you see that? I, Mary Dudley, take you, John, to be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. What do you bring as the sign of your promise? Let us pray. By your blessing, O God, may these rings be to John and Mary Dudley, symbols of unending love and faithfulness, reminding them of the covenant they have made this day. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> For God, and in the presence of this congregation, John and Mary Duff, have made their solemn vows to each other. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. Their, blessed be the Father and the Son. Holy Spirit, now and forever. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. <laughs> As Colossians says, whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God through him. The grace of Christ attend you. The love of God surrounds you. The Holy Spirit keep you, that you may live in faith, abound in hope, grow in love, both now and forevermore.
I present to you Mr. and Mrs. John Charles Tramazzo. <laughs>